welcome to 2021 and welcome to my first ever week in the life. So I have no clue how this is gonna go. I normally do day in the lifestyle videos, so I'm a little bit nervous about how long this is gonna be. So apologies in advance if it's like an hour and a half long. I'm gonna try to figure this out and share the beginning of our year here in 2021. So today is New Year's Day and we are off work and hanging around the house, getting some things done around the house. So I've got some projects in my office we'll be talking about. I'm gonna be doing some KonMari projects, which will be their own separate videos. Gonna be working on closets and accessories and all those sorts of things. So I'll be sharing all of those coming up in January, but it's kind of taking you along because we are going to be home for the foreseeable future. We're doing work and school and all that stuff continuing from here at home. So this is what it is. But I thought today I would share um, doing my hair. I've shown this on Instagram. This is not sponsored. I actually bought this off of a Facebook ad of all things when I saw it in an ad and I was like, wow, that looks really good. So I saw it and I tried it and I've been doing my hair like this. And if you follow me on Instagram and my name's the same on there um, for this channel, I posted some pictures and everyone was like, wow, you actually did your hair. <laughs> so I thought I should probably start doing this occasionally. So I'm going to share this and what it does to my hair, but it's a beach waver and it just basically gives you kind of nice beach waves that are really, really easy to do. So I'm going to do this real quick and then work on some laundry and things around the house. Um, but yeah, come along for our first ever week in the life. It may end up being a weekend in the life if I start filming too much and, um, we'll kind of sort this out as we go. So I thought this would be a cool way to do beach waves and it's been working out really, really well. So you can see they just pop right in and someone on Instagram asked how long this takes me. It takes me about 20 minutes. So I'm going to finish this up and I will show you the finished product. I did the whole bottom portion of my hair and now I'm going to take the top down and you can see it's pretty straight. It's got a little bit of wave on its own, but nothing that really stays or is too wavy. Um, so this definitely helps kind of give it a little bit of style if I'm not straighten it to be all the same direction. So I'm just gonna continue this all the way around and you can see it's pretty quick. It's just a matter of getting all of those pieces of hair separated and using like smaller pieces because if you use too big of a section of hair, it just ends up kind of not really taking as well. So after I've gone all the way around, you can see that the curls, they kind of start coming out on their own, but some of them are still a little bit more tightly wound. So I just put some hairspray in and then I just kind of use my hands to kind of comb it out a little bit and it gives you a ton of volume. So I have been loving this and this is especially like a look that I would love to wear in Florida because it gets so humid there. My hair tends to kind of, even though I don't really have curly hair, my hair tends to like kind of curl, well even here in the summer, I mean we're close enough to Florida and Alabama that my hair tends to kind of just kind of curl up a little bit. So this is gonna be great for me to use kind of in those months where there's a lot of humidity and I might as well be curling it anyways. Why does your hair always do this thing where there's one side that looks great? Like I love this side and this side is just, like this is my wonky side. Like there's like one piece that didn't take. <laughs> like I have one wonky side. Why does your hair always do that where there's a good side and a weird side? <laughs> so I'm gonna redo this one piece here and then hopefully this will um, get it finished off. But I've been enjoying this. It makes it easy to do my hair. It does take about 20 minutes, which is a little bit longer than it takes to straighten it. But I think when I'm wanting something different, um, you know, I think it's worth it. And just think about how cute this would be with many ears at Disney World. So anyhow, I've been liking it. So I wanted to share that in the vlog right off the top. And it's the Beach Waver. Again, this is not sponsored or anything like that. I'm not affiliated with them. Um, but it has changed me being able to do Beach Waves. So um, I thought I would share it with you guys. So let's move on with the vlog. I already feel like this is going to be really long. So sorry in advance. I have to figure out how to do this whole more days than one combined in the vlog. Rover is rovering here in my office. So one of the things that we are going to do over break is we're gonna replace 
the ceiling fan because the ceiling fan matches the ones upstairs and I have a kind of more chandelier style fan that we're going to put up so that's one of the things we're going to work on here in my office and it's sitting over here so the robot's kind of having to work around it this morning while it does its cleaning deal and then I also ordered a bookcase for over here so I'll share that when it gets here so too. step one of the closet organization and I'll kind of share this more after I get all the pieces in here but Dan is going to take this fan down this one was already here when we moved into the house and this is going to go upstairs in the playroom there's like a pool light up there um, so we're going to take that pool light down and just put this fan up there because it matches with the other one and then I have this fan over here that he is going to put up and I have obviously a lot of stuff waiting to get organized. I'm going to go through all this KonMari it. And then when the shelf gets here, it's going to go in this big empty space over here. And there's Penguin trying to figure out what the ladder is. So Dan got one fan down and now it's time to put the new one up. And there's these handy universal instructions. No need to worry about things like language to hold you back. While he is working on putting up the fan, I'm working on starting to take down some of the Christmas decorations. So I just got some ornaments off of the tree over here in the corner. I got some of the ornaments off of this tree over here. Um, but I have kind of like the filler ornaments that are still on there. I'm going to go get the boxes for those. I'm going to start getting these put away. All right, there it is. So it's the next day, we're working on doing some cleaning out of things, and there is my new fan. This is controlled by a <laughs> the remote. remote. Oh, did you turn it up? It is pretty nifty. So you just leave the light switch on, and then we have this remote that changes it. Yeah, there's the light. You turn it down to one, and then Dan just put this remote holder over here, so that way, I can easily get to it right when I walk in the room. Hey guys, welcome to day two of our week-ish in the life. I don't know what it's going to be. That's kind of the weird thing with um, doing this for the first time is that with a day in the life, you kind of know like the set time frame and like what your different points are going to be. And this is just kind of a wild card. You're just getting whatever. Um, so it is Saturday today, the second day of January, and I am headed into Target. It's a little sunny. I have, um, we got like a stuffed animal chain for Isabella's room. I ordered it on online, but it's too big for her corner. So we're going to take it back and try to find something else to display her stuffed animals. And then I think I'm gonna look at shoe organizers um, because I'm gonna be working on my closet, which you guys will see videos on that coming up separately as well. Um, but I'm gonna look at the shoe organizers and see if they have kind of the lower shoe shelves that I can put in my closet to organize my shoes. So that is what I'm up to today. And I will admit it's kind of weird like not doing a full day because my brain just automatically thinks in a full day in the life like of from when you get up sometime in the morning, starting to film to, you know, sometime in the evening. Um, so this is gonna be different. You guys just let me know what you think. Um, but it is an interesting way to kind of share your week. So I've got my mask, one of the pink disposable masks from Amazon. I'm gonna put this on and head realized, So this is actually my first trip to Target in 2021. So that's exciting. I'm sure this will be the first of many. Here's a quick little mini Target haul for you. So I got these two shoe shelves. I'll have Dan put these together when I get them home. This is the same thing I got Natalie. We got two for our closet. Got a replacement hamper for Isabella and something I'll try for her stuffed animals just so she can see them. And these were actually the stockings that I got this year that I added two of these to our collection. They had two of them in the 90% off area. So I went ahead and grabbed them because they were $1.50. They actually had a ton of letter stockings left as well too. And then these are the face wipes that I used. These were on sale also. They're normally $9.99 and they were $6.99. It's got some mints and then also some tags. These were literally 10 cents a piece because they were in the 90% off for Christmas area too. So some pretty good deals and some organization stuff. Well, one last look at the lights for the season. I've got all the ornaments off and I'm gonna turn this off and let the lights cool and then put this in the box over here. 
I brought in both boxes from the garage, so it's time to reverse this back the other way. We had the chairs up from the cleaning robots gone around today and did mopping and vacuuming, but this one has been off all day long, so I'm gonna take this one down first and get this in its box. And then once both trees are down, we can do a little spot clean with the vacuum to get all the little Aaron, you know, faux tree needles that fall on the ground when you do this. I'm gonna say one. Hey, buddy. This tree is extremely easy to take apart. All you have to do is just lift it up. I'm gonna take the bow off, actually, now that it's off. And this little piece of wrap that I put on there. And, whoa, there's a dog there. It's just three pieces and they come apart super easy, as long as the dog doesn't trip you. That's one, this is two. This flock tree for over here in this corner, I think was definitely one of the best purchases of the season. And I really also like the tree collars that I got this year. So this tree and this tree collar were both from Michaels. The other tree collar on the main tree, I got that on uh, Amazon. And I think they all worked out really, really well. But I especially love this flock tree. It just looked beautiful. It was like the perfect size and height for this corner. It did leave quite a bit of flocking and um, glitter behind. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the vacuum cleaner and clean up the different tree corners after I get this out to the garage. It's Sunday, time for reality to start setting in because it's back to work in school. I know. <laughs> so we have no Christmas trees up any longer. I still have some decor to take down over there, but this has kind of been put back to quote unquote usual. I still have some little decor items to put up which I will keep working on today and it's getting there. I really love this stuff up top though. I'm definitely gonna keep doing that year after year. So Dan's up there working on putting the extra fan that came out of my office up there and we took down a light. They had a pool table. So we took down the pool table light. I'll show that he's about done, so I'm gonna stay out of the way. I'm getting ready to go film my first of probably a few <laughs> closet declutter videos. I'm going to declutter first and I'll do a series of videos on it. I'm going to con Mari everything and then I'm going to organize it and just try to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and so I'm going to do that kind of in multiple stages. Probably going to give myself like January, February to do that um, but I'll take you along for that process as I kind of decide what I want to do in the different spaces and show what I decide to get rid of and kind of how I tackle this unique situation because obviously we're home right now. We will probably be home at least for the foreseeable future, at least through the spring. And then after that, who knows? Um, so I kind of have to keep clothing for a lot of different contingencies. So it's like about keeping the right amount of stuff because I can't get rid of my whole work wardrobe and then all of a sudden, and, you know, COVID goes away and it's like, everyone come back in the office on Monday and I have nothing to wear. Um, so I kind of have to keep pieces that are either versatile enough to do both or like my work pants that I primarily wear when I'm going to the office, like keep the best of the best 
Um, usually like that means like the ones I purchased most recently. I've really been liking the loft petite pants. I'm trying to think what um, and it's like petite because it's a short length. Um, they come in a whole range of sizes. But I'm trying to think what they are called. I'll try to look at the tags as I'm clearing them out. Um, but they're just a really good, like, basic go-to work pant that goes with a lot of stuff. So I have those in black and gray. Um, but really want to clear out the older, older pants. Definitely anything that doesn't fit. Um, but also... Um, clear out anything that's maybe a little bit worn um, or just is not something I go to grab all the time. So I just did my hair and I want to get this started. I don't want to keep waiting. So I'm going to go start that and start taking you along for that process. So that'll be in its own video. And then we'll keep doing the week in the life which, knock on wood, I've actually managed to film little snippets for like three days. I'm not going to have any clue what it looks like until I go to put this together. Um, but yeah, so at least I've remembered to film so far so good. So this fan was already up here and he's putting the fan for my office up here. So we're just testing out the electricity before he gets it all finished. Well, I'll turn that on. Oh, uh, lights on one of the fans came on. Not the other one? Say that. Natalie's I like, helping. I like ideas. They're cool and can sometimes be helpful. Like what just happened there. I was helpful. So, I just took the dog for a little walk with Natalie, and I had to check into my email. I've got a work thing tonight, so I just want to check and make sure I didn't get any questions ahead of time. But I'm going to go pick up the groceries from Walmart Pickup, and I will share that in the grocery haul as well, but maybe you guys, give you guys like a sneak peek in this week in the life. And I, again, have like no clue how long this video is. So, um, I feel like I'm keeping it at a reasonable length, but we'll see. But I got quite a bit done on my closet clean out. I'm excited to share that. It's the first step in decluttering. So I want to go through and declutter a number of areas. My closet and I have like a number of different sections I need to do in there. Like jewelry and shoes and clothing and all those sorts of things. And then I have different types of clothing. So it really is like different sections, different buckets and all of that. Um, and then I want to tackle my office. I want to clean out this closet, do some decluttering in here. And then I may actually have to get a few things too because I've got this bookshelf coming. And I want that to be kind of a couple part thing. I want to be able to display some handbags on it and kind of rotate those out. I want to display some of my fandom items. So I actually just ordered a Mickey ear holder from Etsy. So I'm excited for when that arrives and I can put like a number of pairs of ears on there at one time. And again, I can kind of change those out and change the looks. So if it's holidays, you can put holiday ones on there and all that sort of thing. And um, just kind of play around with it. So use it for part decor, part storage and organization and part dysfunctionality. So I'm hoping that'll help in here with the organization. This room is it's pretty good, but I could still clear a lot out of this closet because a lot of what's left in this closet has just been moved from office to office. And I also need to do a KonMari of my handbags and really go through those and only keep what's suiting me and items that I really plan on using because there's definitely some things in there that I don't think I'm going to use again. So I can donate those and send them off to somewhere where they'll be used. So those will all be upcoming in separate videos. Those are really long enough videos that they can be their own thing. And people kind of search those out on their own too. So those are kind of nice videos to share. Um, but I'm, I cleaned off my desk. It's not going to stay like this this long. Let me show you my desk while I have it all nice and cleaned off. So this is my desk, the back side of the desk. Normally in pictures you see it from the other side. But... One of the things that I'm thinking about getting is one of those larger like monitor MacBooks or it's not a MacBook I guess it's just a Mac computer. So I actually got this cute little keyboard from Amazon and it's just battery powered and it came with this mouse. I'm going to start testing these out and just see what I think about these whenever I um, and I have a thing that I can kind of set my laptop up so the screen's a little bit higher. I'm going to test these out to see what I think. Um, and just see if this works a little bit better doing work 
you know, here at home since it seems like it's going to keep going on. I've got my fresh calendar out here ready to start taking notes for the week. And then I normally always have like a notebook with like, you know, notes and all that, but I actually have cleared off all the notebooks to kind of take some pictures. But um, I do have a little bit more pile of stuff over there in the corner that I need to get to. There's some trash I have to take out with the trash this week. The box from the fan and all those sorts of things that I have to get taken out. But this room's taking shape. So anyhow, this is what it looks like from here. I have this kind of, I just got this at um, Target a while ago and I keep my buxom glasses in there, all my sprays, I got my extra pop sockets in there, there's my little Baby Yoda Mandalorian one, Groguru. Um, this is actually a phone holder that I got off of Amazon, so I can put that on there, but when I don't have my phone on there, I had gotten these out to take a picture for Instagram one day because they just released these on Shop Disney. I don't know if they're still on there anymore. But I, since I got them out, I was like, oh, I kind of like those. So I just got left them out. This was a collaboration between an artist, Karen Hallion and um, Ashley Eckstein from Her Universe. And I like both of them. I follow both of them already. So I thought that was a fun one. I have this magic band on this magic band holder. I just thought that was cute. And set, this is something I'll probably move to my shelf when the bookshelf gets here. This cup, Naomi from Ryomi Designs made this for me and sent this to me. I thought this was really cute. I've had this for a while. I follow her on Instagram too. There's how she spells her name, but it's really sparkly and fun. So I've just been leaving this on my desk because it's just kind of fun to look at. And then I have all my pens. I do actually take my notes for work with this, but I'm actually planning on, I'm, I'm wanting to wait till the bookshelf gets here, but I think I'm gonna get an iPad for work to take notes and then I may get the larger computer desk and then if I clean out this closet then I think this room will be good to go so we'll see but I wanted to kind of share my office set up here because it is back to work this week no more holidays welcome to my day so we have made it I think I've vlogged the past few days this week in the life I'm gonna do the next couple work days and we're diving into the work week I'm really excited to see what you guys think about seeing a whole week at a time although it's kind of the same thing as just being at home during the day but we are back to working and the kids have started back with their teachers online hooray so if you missed that during vlogmas they basically have been offline and they're doing virtual school fully but they have been offline since november 30th when their school district the whole district like tens of thousands of kids got hacked they could not use their school computers the teachers couldn't use their computers they couldn't even use their email addresses so it took them basically a month to get that sorted out, but we are back going today. They are able to use their computers. They are online doing lessons so much better than what we were doing because we were having to pick up paper packets at the school and they were having to do all this written work, which my kids really enjoy the technology and so that makes it easier for them to do their work. They still had some written stuff and like Natalie's learning cursive this year, but having to do some paperwork versus everything being on paper was just a lot more of a struggle and they had no lessons with their teachers so they were just basically picking up a packet of work and having to do it on their own and it was not engaging at all so we are excited that we are getting back to it today um it's kind of our first day back after a couple weeks of break and they are back on their computers with their teachers and the schedule and oh hallelujah it's great um, I'm trying to get some work done this morning and enjoying my office, which I worked on cleaning out a little bit, but there's still some more to be done. I'm going to be sharing this in a video coming up. I tried to clean out this cabinet a little bit behind me. I'm going to keep working on that. I need to work on this closet. And then the biggest thing is when this bookshelf arrives, which I think is going to be next week, um, it'll be kind of a decor and storage and organization centerpiece. So I'll do kind of a whole video on how I'm going to weave together some decor, some storage, some organization, and kind of make it a little bit of everything. Right now it's just kind of a blank wall. But I'm hoping to use this vertical space because I do have the tall ceilings, but I'm excited about the new fan, which I showed this weekend, and just starting to get some things cleared out. So I did a KonMari, which you probably may have already seen this. It was step one, initially going through my closet. I got three garbage bags cleared out. I'm hoping to do the same in here, in this closet, just get a lot cleared out. 
do a KonMari and the handbags in here and really just get it to fine down and down to those things that spark joy. <clears throat> so that's kind of the plan for later this week. And um, today I'm just trying to get caught up on work work and then I can do that work around the housework later this week. Um, but yeah, the Christmas trees are down. It's kind of that weird in between period where I still have some of the holiday decor up just because I haven't taken it down yet. And then it's kind of gone back to regular decor in other places. So I need to work on that later this week as well and kind of finish taking some of that decor down. Um, but yeah, that's kind of our time period right now. I think that's kind of what this whole week in the live vlog is going to be is just starting to work on these things around the house and um, getting the holiday decor down so regular decor can go back up. So I'm going to go check in and see what the kids are doing and it's about lunchtime today. Penguin's hanging out underneath my feet while I get some work done. It's going to be lunchtime here in a little bit and it's a lot emptier without the trees in here but it's getting getting back to normal but there's still some holiday decor especially over here and this living room area but this is going to go into the um kitchen and take a look at my meal planning board and make sure that's up to date so i gotta erase some things on there and so update. i just wrote in our meal plan for the week after erasing all the old stuff off of there and we had buffalo chicken pizza last night i'm gonna make italian beef in the crock pot today hooray i'm excited about that we haven't had that in a while i'm gonna make chicken bacon ranch in the crock pot on Tuesday, probably chili in the crock pot. On Wednesday, it's a big crock pot we do around our house. Um, chicken, Italian Parmesan, it's a new recipe I'm trying out. On Thursday, also in the crock pot, we are gonna do pizza again on Friday because we got two pizzas in the grocery order thinking one of them wouldn't be fulfilled and they were both fulfilled, so um, we've got two. And then Saturday is a wild card, um, so we'll see what happens that day. So this is the plan right now. I just went and curled my hair real quick and actually put on one of my more work appropriate outfits. So I'm zoom appropriate from the top up. But I'm actually gonna go take some pictures in my closet real quick of me with my outfit but holding the bags of clothing that I got rid of for the KonMari so I can share that on Instagram. So I'm gonna go take that picture real quick but on a side note, I'm also ready for zoom calls from the waist up. I'm wearing pants, jeggings, and my little comfy lounge flip-flops that I got for Christmas on the bottom half. They are very cozy though. I do really like these. They have worked out really well. So I'm sharing all the organizing in separate videos and all of the decluttering because it's really a declutter, then organize, and then decorate is the last step. But um, I'm sharing all the decluttering in separate videos. I did the first round just kind of decluttering the really easy stuff out of my closet. I got three trash bags worth. So I shared that in the video for part one. And then I'm gonna go through my shoes. I'm gonna start going through the accessories. I'll share those in videos upcoming as well. And then I'm gonna go back through and really dig deep in part two from my closet and make sure that everything sparks joy that I can just toss it on, do a video in it, use it for work, you know, that it's really functional in the areas that it needs to be. So like what I'm wearing right now, I obviously really love animal print. Um, I've really been into pink a lot lately. I've noticed that in my closet, I've trended with a lot of pink. And so um, I also really love yellow, although I don't have that much yellow in my closet right now. So it's maybe like a gold add more. But I wanna go through and make sure everything sparks joy and is functional. For dinner tonight, we are gonna do a tried and true Italian beef in the crock pot. This has been one of our favorites for a really long time and we've showed this in our videos a number of times. So I'm gonna put just beef stew cubes with some Italian beef seasoning um, that's actually from my hometown and it's produced like around my hometown, which is fun. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of Italian dressings and pepperoncinis and then maybe just some water to make sure everything kind of comes together and let this sit in the crock pot until dinner time and then this will be done. So I'm gonna get everything put in there. So I put the mixture in there with some water. I'm gonna get it all stirred around and put in some pepperoncinis as well. And I like a lot of those to add some flavor. And since it's already cut up cubes, this won't take too long to cook up today, but I do have it on high. And when I've made this before in the past, I guess this is not something that's super prevalent in a lot of states. I guess it's more of like an Illinois and like Midwest thing. Um, but typically you would just have this beef with Italian seasoning and some sort of pepper garnish. And then you would um, put it with some sort of bread. You can, you can eat it as a sandwich or an open face, either way. 
So there is that. There we go. Get all the whole ones in there. And then that can just sit and simmer for the next few hours. That is cleaning my office. <laughs> it's going around here. Everyone's gonna check it out and see what's going on. Oh, hey, go oh. So it's supposed to stop when it sees flat. That wasn't supposed to happen. So I'm gonna take a break real quick and open this up. This just arrived from Sephora. So this is gonna be a fun little unboxing in the middle of the vlog for you. And this was my last order of 2020. So I got the final few things that I needed. And this is a fun one to start off 2021. So I got some of my staple items. This is the Jo Malone perfume that I wear about every day and I debated whether or not to get this. And if you remember, I actually decided to not get it. And um, I just thought, well, I'm not going through it as fast. But then I realized I was kind of using it fairly frequently. And I happened to get a coupon that was good on Just Perfume to my email. They send the, you know, just random coupons sometimes if you're a Beauty Insider or a VIB Rouge. And so they happened to send one that worked just for colognes and perfumes. So I was like, well, it's a sign. It's meant to be. So I got the Wild Bluebell cologne or perfume, whatever you want to call it that I wear pretty much every day. And I do wear this every day. I put on maybe a little bit less, just like one spritz or whatever, but I do wear this every day. So mine is about, I'd say about two thirds of the way gone. It's down in the bottom third. So I will use this probably by the end of January. I will be out of my regular perfume. So I have that for when I run out and I got 20% off on it. So it was a pretty good deal. And then I got these. Um, I was needing, I like these Dior Attic Lip Glows to put on before I put my other lip treatments on. So I got this in the 001 Pink and this one is the 011. It's a little bit sparklier. You can kind of see the difference on the ends here. So one is the 001, the other one 011. And um, it, this is the sparkly one and then this is just a lip glow. And they work with the pH of your lips and they turn them a really neat color. So it looks just like a baby pink here in the tube, but they actually turn your lips a really pretty color. And this one's shimmery and super pretty. So I'm excited for those. I normally use this 001 and I was about out, so I replenished that one. But the sparkly one, I wanted to try and I'm really glad that I did because that's a really pretty sparkly color. So I don't think that I have anything on my lips. I put this on earlier, but it's probably worn off by now. So that is what the regular lip glow looks like. But the sparkly one, I'm gonna be interested to see what this looks like. So the packaging looks very, very similar, but you can tell it definitely hasn't sparkled. So this is my lips with basically nothing on them. And it's really nice and moisturizing. And I like using this as almost like a primer for my lips. So let me see where my phone went so I can see what this looks like. You can really see this. This is a really nice pink color. It's beautiful. I really like this one. This one may be my new favorite. I've also used the rosewood one a lot, but I really like the sparkle in this. It's especially really shimmery in the light. So this one's definitely a win. I'm glad I got this one. This may, do, this may be a new favorite here. I need to do a beginning of the year favorites, um, but this may be a new favorite. Okay, so the robot is done in here, so back to work. This is what the Italian beef looks like when it is all done. So I'm gonna get this put in bowls and then just put it with some bread and we will eat it open face. Hey guys, welcome back to the week in the live. Today is Tuesday. I'm pretty sure. Um, today is Tuesday. I'm going to do another day or so in this week in the life before I wrap it up. And then you guys can let me know in the comments what you think about seeing kind of a number of days, little short snippets here and there. Um, this is my first time trying it, so yeah. Um, but anyhow, I um, have been getting some work done this morning. We're getting ready to do lunch. I wanted to share today that... Um, I'm doing another crock pot meal and this is one that I've shared a lot in my vlogs. We're doing chicken bacon ranch tonight. I'm also doing another crock pot meal tomorrow, which is chili and then another crock pot meal on Thursday, which is like a chicken parmesan 
um, kind of noodly cheese dish. So it's a lot of crock pot meals this week. Um, I really enjoy cooking with the crock pot. Even when we're home or if we're away, it's just a really easy way to cook because you can just put it all in and then it's done in the evening. So that way if you get caught doing something like at 4.30 at night and you're just like scrambling to get things done, you don't have to stress about like, oh, I should have started dinner like 30 minutes ago and now we're going to be eating late. So it's kind of nice to just have it in the crock pot and going. It's why it's one of my favorite things to, to have. We don't have an Instapot yet. Someone asked me about that in the comments. If we get one, I will definitely share what we think and doing some meals with it and everything. We have not got one up to this point. We're a little bit curious about them, but it also kind of scares the crap out of me because it's like such a pressure and I don't know. I still feel like crock pots would be my preference, but obviously you have to remember to do that either in the morning before you leave to go to work or, you know, in the day at the appropriate time to put it in. So it's kind of midday now, I'm gonna put it on high and just let it you know, sit for the rest of the afternoon and that'll be plenty of time for it to cook. Also, in case you can tell, I'm like getting a cold, like I don't think it's like COVID or anything. I just get like a continual like sinus and cold this time of year and apparently it's back, hooray. We've started having to run our heat. So I do think it is largely affected by that and it just kind of messes my sinuses up because they have like these electric heat like things down here, it's a little bit different than like furnaces up north because it actually uses the same air conditioners like that are outside that cool in the summer. You can hear a trash truck outside. They cool and then they get reverse in the winter and then they heat. So it's all a matter of like what direction they're going. And for whatever reason, like this seems to mess me up like worse. I don't know what that is. I always just get like a continual like cold and sinus thing going on, regardless of what climate we live in though. Um, which is a lot more awkward now um, because like last year, at least a couple times, I probably don't really talk about it on vlogs, so you guys probably aren't even aware, but at least a couple times a year, I'll get like this, this like coughing, like dry cough thing. My mom gets it, it's weird. Like she's been to allergists, she used to have to get allergy shots all the time. And typically it always happens like in the fall and like in the winter for us. And then sometimes in the spring. <laughs> so it can happen like a couple times a year. And um, I started getting this the past couple years and it's just like it's this dry cough, it just kind of comes on and like you feel fine otherwise, but like, it just, it lingers. And so this is gonna be a really awkward year to get that again if it happens. So I'm really hoping that this is the extent of what I um, have happened this year, but we'll see. Cause last year when I got that, it was more like in February. So anyhow, we'll see. Um, but it's just kind of like, you know, sinuses in here, they just get all clogged. And so it just kind of makes you, it's, I sound a little fuzzy. I may sound normal to you, but. <clears throat> Anyhow, it just kind of clogs everything up and feels a little fuzzy, but um, it's something that continually happens and we haven't been out. I haven't been around anyone. So anyhow, like I said, it's just something that happens every year, but I'm going to take you to show you our crock pot meal and um, just kind of do like a little mini day in the life today to put in the week in the life. So it is kind of like our vlog for the week since I've got a lot of extra projects going on. So the ingredients that I'm using for the dinner tonight, chicken bacon ranch, and I've shown this a lot, and you can do a lot of different variations depending on what you have on hand. But I'm gonna use one of these bars of cream cheese. You just wanna let it soften a little bit, but it'll really soften up in the crock pot. You're gonna use one of the ranch dressing seasonings. I use this in a lot of different crock pot meals. This adds a really good flavor. I'm using the chicken breast tenderloins. Um, I like these because they cook up really nicely and also they were out of chicken breast as well. So this is what I ended up getting. I do actually have regular bacon on hand. You can do this with bacon bits, but this adds a lot more flavor in there. So let's cut these in half and then in half again. And these little bacon pieces will actually flavor the whole mixture. So it tastes really, really good and kind of gives everything a little bit of extra bacon flavor. So I'm gonna start by opening up these chicken tenders, putting them in. And I'm gonna put some of the ranch seasoning on on top. I'll just put some of the cream cheese over that and then just sprinkle around the bacon and let that all sit and simmer for a little while. So I've cut these into small bacon pieces you can see here and I'm just going to take all of these and kind of put them here in the crock pot and 
kind of spread them out a little bit. And then this will just add a lot of flavor all around. And this is what it looks like down in there. So I'm just gonna sit the top on the crock pot and let that simmer for a bit. So this is about halfway through and everything is starting to get melty and start to uh, get put together there. And Natalie and I are gonna go out and run errands here in a few minutes, but I wanted to share what it looked like kind of in mid process. Okay, just a little Target haul for today. So we picked up a couple of food things. We were actually almost out of milk and almost out of um, some Progresso soup. Natalie got Starbucks. We got a blue cover thingy. Like it was covered in blue. A like blue cake pop blue that was chocolate that and I got was, a drink. That was chocolate and it's my favorite because I love chocolate and the rest of them are probably all vanilla. Yes, it's her new favorite cake pop. It's literally blue. Well, before I lose the light, I'm going to share this fun item. This just got here from Etsy. So I'm going to open it up, but I thought this was cute that they put the little designs on the outside. So I love shopping on Etsy for truly unique things and things you, you just can't really find in stores and handmade items. And this is actually an organization item too. So it is an item that I got in anticipation of having the shelf um, here in my office. But it is actually a glittery pink mini ear holder that is handmade. So let me open this up and show this. So too. I will find the store name. But the awesome thing about this is that I can display some of my mini ears on the shelf. You can see it's going to hold quite a few. I think they said that holds 10. And um, it's decoration and organization and storage. So I have these ears like over here that I really love and I want to display. But right now, all my ear storage is just kind of in the closet. But now, I can put them on this. Isn't that cute? That's perfect. So I'm super excited about this because this will be one of the decor items that I have on the shelf, but it also be super functional because I can keep some of my favorite ears on there as well. It is time for dinner. I'm not entirely sure where that chair is up, I guess because of the robot. I'm going to go in here and get dinner done. We just gave Penguin a quick bath. And the chicken bacon ranch should be done. I just need to go get a wooden spoon and fork and kind of stir it all together. And as you stir it up, this is what it looks like. You can put some cheddar cheese on the top. You can make the sandwiches. You can put it with pasta. There's so many things you can do with this. It's just really versatile. We're probably just going to have some French bread with it and do like the open face type of thing that we did with the Italian beef. There you go. That's dinner. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It is another day in our week in life and oh boy, today has been a crazy day. Not at our house, mind you. It's been a very calm day at our house, but it's been crazy out there in the world. Very glad we're at home and keeping to ourselves today. I did take a big um, load of stuff over to the donation place and drop that off. So I cleared out all the stuff that I showed in my KonMari videos, which actually I think is coming up after this one for you guys. So hang in there because I'm going to go through my closet and my shoes are the upcoming videos. I took all that and I sent it to the donation place, so that's gone along with a lot of household stuff. The cleaning robot is headed this way. Um, so that is done and I'm ready to jump in and start going through some of my accessories, my makeup, my handbags. Um, and I need to go through all of the jeans and the pants, they're kind of their own separate thing. So I'll be sharing all of that in videos. Um, after you guys watch the clothing and the shoes ones additionally. The one area where I haven't gotten too many um, new things is books. I have purchased a couple of books, but it's not something I really have purchased a lot of. Um, I have gotten a Kindle, which I can do like e-reading on there. Um, I still, I do still struggle with paper, but now it's kind of like more like school related and like work related type of paper and so then it's just really a matter of if I can't if it's work related and I can't get rid of it just trying to figure out the best way to organize it and one thing that I do is I use these um, binders these are just like one inch white binders and I kind of divide these down by subject this is kind of my like grab and go like have the things that I need to use the most in it binder 
And so I have this, I don't want to show the front because there's stuff in there, but I have this um, that I use for my most used stuff. And let me see if I can show this. Hold on, I have to turn the sheet around. But I, um, one moment, <laughs> I use these little folders that I get at Target. And these are a really good, um, best kept secret. I get these, they're divided in two sections and they are paper sized where you can put, you know, all your paper stuff in there. And um, I have one for Scentsy, I have one for work, and I have one just for like general life. Let me get my Scentsy one out actually. And it keeps everything so well organized. I love those. They work really So here really is kind of the business side of my Scentsy cabinet. It's on this kind of one side of the cabinet. And here is what those folders look like. So I keep um, these are Avery label sheets. I actually need to order some more from Amazon. I put um, the name of the scent on there and I was like having to write them out but this just saves a little bit of time so I can put those on samples. I can print off sheets where if something's sold out I can mark that in catalogs so people know that it's not in stock anymore. Um, and then I have my ordering labels here that I put on my catalogs and return labels and all that sort of fun stuff. So um, these are really great to kind of keep things together for a like subject. And like I said, I just have a number of these. I have this one for Cincy, the one for work, and then one for just kind of general life, you know, kids school stuff. Um, Honestly, I put my unemployment stuff into one of them, you know, like one side of them. So it's just handy to kind of keep things put together. If you had business receipts, all those sorts of things. And it's got um, just down the center, just this one little divider. And so that way you can kind of keep things divided even if it's the same section. So I really like these. I get these at Target. They're in the office section, usually in the aisle by the pens and paper over there by um, those sorts of things. Um, around where I got like this portfolio thing and this has been super handy so that's been a really good purchase also I wanted to show this I shared this on Instagram earlier too and this is one of the things I'm planning on using for my shelf decor and also it doubles as an organization and storage piece which is awesome so I got this and I opened it up yesterday and so we can live vlog so you should have just seen it um, but this is all new territory for me what I love about this is that you can display your favorite ears you can display your ears collection it holds up to 10 and so you can see that there's actually still a bunch of room back here. And so I have some of my favorite ears on here. A lot of the pink themed ones, the glittery sequin sparkly ones. And I'm planning on using that as one of my shelf decor items when the shelf gets here. It's, I got an email that it's delayed, but hopefully it'll be here in like two weeks. We'll see. Um, but in the meantime, at least I have a place now to conveniently store my ears and kind of use them as part of the decor as well. I kind of like the little hidden mini ear idea and I have them around my office so I thought that this would be another cute way to be able to display some of my ears and also kind of keep them stored nicely when we're not at Disney. So tonight for dinner we are having chili from the crock pot and that is done. So I'm going to get that into bowl. So I'm going to wrap up the video for today and I have some interesting editing ahead because I just put some of the clips together from the week in the life and just the first few days and I have over almost 30 minutes of footage. So when I put it all together it's going to be close to like an hour and a half if not two hours of footage which is obviously not a watchable length. I'm not trying to make a movie here. So my first week in the life may have been a slight fail, but I'm gonna wrap it up and hopefully you had something to watch today for the vlog. Feel free to leave your feedback down below on what you thought on the week in the lifestyle video, and we will see you in more videos coming up very soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.